And on today's New York City. So yesterday, I reported on a female strap hanger who was beaten by a vagrant in NYC. Apparently, y'all, he was caught though. By the grace of God. Amen. You feel me? And the woman has also come to speak out and she's told uh, more details. So apparently, the 33-year-old woman was approached by a man who tried to start a conversation with her and then followed her to the mezzanine. When the woman did not respond and ignored the advances, police say the man dragged her across the floor of the mezzanine and slammed her into the wall, where he repeatedly pounded her with his fist and kicked her in the face and body. Do you know how scared I am now? I was never a person to be scared, says the victim, Elizabeth Gone. She said that her head throbs of pain and she's barely slept in a week since the attack. She also can't see anything on the right side. So it's like he done messed up her right side vision on the low on the high key, you feel me? And she said that he was muttering Satan and demonic shit, which it's not surprising, bro. It's not surprising. Some nigga to do some bum-ass, devilish shit like that, you gotta be saying some bum-ass, devilish shit while you're doing it. It is what it is. Her husband also came in to talk, and you could tell he's some yard mind, some bad mind, so he's like, man, you could tell that like, he wants to do more, but at the same time, he can't. And I respect and I understand exactly how he feels you feel me but i don't want to get too much into them i want to get too much into pause <laughs> pause i want to get into the suspect the 41 year old waheed foster because yo this nigga is c now is, is that the word i think that's the word this nigga is ridiculous like he got a ridiculous ass rap sheet and it's like yo how the fuck was he on the streets like, how was he around to be able to do all this type of stuff in the first place? So, apparently, in 1995, law enforcement sources say Foster was arrested for murdering his 82-year-old Foster grandmother in a brutal beating at the age of 14. My nigga, what? This guy killed his foster grandmother at the age of 14. So he already got problems. That's 27 years of problems he already got that he mentally going through. You feel me? So it's kind of like, wow, that's deep. And it makes you think, like, is his real name, is his real name foster? Or is it just since he was in the foster care system, you know? But yeah, also six years later, he was arrested for stabbing his 21-year-old sister with a screwdriver. I don't even know if this is his foster sister or blood sister. It doesn't really matter. It's just damn what he got against women, though, on the low. Oh, that gets deep. What does he have against women? All right, let's end it off. Let me see the last thing he did. Then in 2010, he was arrested for attacking three workers at a Creedmoor Psychiatric Center where he was an inpatient. He was on parole until November 2024 at the time of last week's attack. That makes you really think, what is his vendetta against women? I don't really want to get too deep, but fuck it, let's get deep. Yo, one of the stereotypes you hear about men, right, especially from women, yeah, that's who I see it come from all the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, is that it's like, yo, these men nowadays are so damaged because they didn't have love, like they don't know how to love because their mom didn't love them, blah, 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 this, that, and the third, right? But then in the same breath, those same people who have that same mindset to say that, oh, these men are so mentally withdrew because they didn't see love, they didn't get love, blah, 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 right? So where are the bad mothers then? Because in that same breath, when people say that, oh, they weren't showing any love, why is it not a common thing to talk about bad mothers then? Because if that's the case then, if y'all saying that the man or men nowadays didn't show get love, that's why they're not able to show the love. What about the mothers who raised those men? Because we always hear about the deadbeat dad. We always hear about the negative dad. We always hear about the um, strict dad. We always hear about this, that, and the third. But then we also always make it seem like the mother is the angel in most of the situations. Like mothers, the guardian mothers, this, that, and the third. And that's what I'm saying. Granted, I love my mother. I have one of the best mothers. Well, I have the best mother in the world. But if we're going to call a spade a spade and keep it real, how does this shit correlate when people say certain things like that? Because right now, this dude is basically displaying some type of hatred towards women and it's like where's his mother did he get any love is it that i don't know i don't really want to speak for him i don't know him but i'm just saying though let's just for the 
sake of conversation. Maybe it is that, right? But then at the same time, let's go even deeper because it's like I just said, when it's the other way around and people, when people see a mother, people always going to assume like, oh, she's a great mother, blah, blah. Mothers is always great. Oh, oh, never disrespect mothers, this, that, and the third. But it's like, I. Right. But then 10 years from now, y'all going to be the same one shitting on the offspring of that mother talking about, oh, the mother didn't give you this, the mother didn't give you that. So it's like, it's okay to shit on people in the future, but not shit on them in the present when they're actually doing the bullshit. Oh, man. I like to leave shit on some type of note like that. So let's leave it at that. Voice your opinion. I want to hear it. Moving forward, though, 